Congratulations for the power. I mean, this is one addictive series. Oh, thank you. How about hearing that? <laughs> How many episodes have you seen? I have seen eight episodes. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Nearly that. all in one sitting, too. So it it, it is it is fascinating is because I love the characters on this series but i want to know is how do you how do you try to balance all the stories for for all these characters this is a this is terrific thank you it's a really daunting task to have this many lead characters with their own interweaving stories that at least initially don't seem to obviously connect. They're connecting thematically. They're existing in this world where the power is influencing, influencing all of their lives, lives differently. But it's about those building that, that pull, the gravitational pull between them throughout the season. So they're, they're getting closer and closer until you realize these are the, going to become the most important people in the world. It's a real balancing act because all of the actors are amazing, I think, and all of the characters in Naomi Alderman's book that we have to work with is just an embarrassment of riches and you want to give them all equal screen time. That's why, honestly, we need everybody to watch because we need a second season because there's so <laughs> many stories left to tell. We've only barely scratched the surface in season one of Everywhere That We Can Go. Now, of course, it, this is based off the book, but it cannot be exactly just like the book. Could you could you tell us about expanding that universe? Um, there are some. There's there's actually some, as you all have seen, um, in future episodes. You know, there's actually some uh, characters and stories that were maybe a paragraph in the book, and they've been expanded out into bigger strands and um, that was really exciting to take the source material and look at those magical little easter eggs that were in that book that you thought god actually if we really sit down and think about that for longer and follow the, someone in that situation's point of view where can that take us and there's just such um, an opportunity with the with that material to tell diverse stories we could go anywhere in the world at any time and follow anyone who's experiencing this change and that's just so freeing. We also gave more time to, to particularly the male characters who yeah. were referenced in the book, occasionally Margot's ex-husband, Bobby. Now we have John Leguizamo playing Rob and he's a central character to the piece. Um, and they have a son, they didn't in the book. So there were some additions like that that were really important. And then Doody is a fantastic addition as well. So um, it was just, you know, making the world even bigger. I also think, though, people who love the book are not going to feel like this show no. is not faithful yeah. to it. It's a really faithful adaptation. It stays true to the essence of the book and every scene and every episode. So I think fans of the book are going to really love the show. And I certainly love the show, too. From, from a male perspective, this is a terrific show. So oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you for carrying this conversation with us. I can't wait to see how this ends or more. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank so you. Much.